I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to identify the strength in a dealt hand. Nothing more, nothing less. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll be the dealer and then non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. We have a joker, pair of flowers, north, west, south, pair north. In bams, we have a two and a seven. In dots, we have one, four, pair of fours. And in cracks, we have a one and a six. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around the multiples. So I would start here, flower north four. We cannot use all these multiples this year. So probably what I would do is hold the winds and focus on flowers with winds. That would probably mean playing the third hand down under winds and dragons. The other thing that I would focus on would be these fours. I would just hold these and see what comes in and not pick a hand yet, just gather. And for passing, I probably would pass one of each suit. Let's see, I think six, seven versus one, two is probably just as risky, so i probably pass those first. If you would have done something differently, write pull one and what you would do with these tiles. West. Three, seven, eight, nine in BAMs, pair eight and pair nine. In dots, we have one, four, seven, eight. In cracks, we have one and four. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I'd build around eight, nine. These are the multiples, so I would look at the rest of my tiles and keep the tiles that could be used with eight, nine. In that case, I would keep the seven and the seven, eight and pass those. So I would build around seven, eight, nine. When I'm playing with mixed suits, I try to have four numbers in a range around the multiples. We're up against the edge of the sequence with the nine being the last. So any sixes that come in, I would keep those. For passing, I'd probably pass a west and then two suits. So that would probably be my first pass. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull two and what you would do. We have a pair of flowers, a south, a green. In dots, we have two, seven, eight, nine. In bands, we have three, six, eight. And in cracks, we have seven, eight, nine. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? 
and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play a hand that uses flowers and build around the predominant pattern, which will be consecutive run six through nine. There is some potential for three, six, nine, and we could even keep the three because we do have tiles that we can pass. So we have seven, eight, nine, maybe three, six, nine, but I would say six, seven, eight, nine in mixed suits with flowers. And there are two hands that we could play in the consecutive run category with flowers and consecutive tiles. That would be the second hand down and the third hand down. For three, six, nine in mixed suits with flowers, we could do the second hand down on the right or the concealed hand. We only have one six though and one three. That's why it would probably take a lower precedence. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do. When you first get your dealt hand, arrange your tiles so you can get the lay of the land. I like to arrange them by putting my jokers to the side, then flowers, winds, then dragons, and then the suited tiles in numerical order. Then look for multiples. With American Mahjong, that is the best way to begin your hand. Focus on multiples and gather tiles that support them. If you don't have multiples, build around the predominant pattern, which will be a category on the card that uses most of your tiles. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.